Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel and my art studio. I am Mrs B, your Catholic art teacher. Boys and girls, uh, last week we did a Bible reflection of this beautiful depiction of uh, uh, the second penitential psalm, which is love surrounds those who trust in the Lord. That's Psalm 31 verse 10. The, and I saw some of your work, boys and girls, really impressed and really love it. This week, boys and girls, we are going to paint um, a Bible reflection taken from the third penitential psalm, which is Psalm 37, verse 3. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. So I was saying, um, what better depiction than to uh, show a, a, a painting of the Sacred Heart of Jesus? Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do with you all, boys and girls, today, I want you all to paint um, without drawing. So we're going to go ahead straight into it and we're going to get some red paint right here. We're going to get some red paint and we're going to draw the Sacred Heart of Jesus with an arrow piercing it. So we're going to go, um, we're going to go, we want to give a little space at the top and a little space below. Because at the top you're going to draw the flame, the, the fire that comes, the fire fire that comes out of the heart and uh, um, and then uh, below we're going to draw a, a, an arrow that's piercing the heart of Jesus. So we're going to wet the paintbrush again. I'm going to try this again. I'm going to do this. Go around like that. And we're going to put the other front here. A paintbrush where any dirt, and we're gonna get uh, another. Just gonna put this shade of red here, like that. Just gonna have some light and dark um, uh, colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to use another shade of red and I'm going to put that shade right here like that um, and then uh, over here we're going to put maybe some orange and uh, yeah just try to mix it all up make it all nice and show different shades and so there's our house, boys and girls. So what we're going to do next, we're going to let it dry and then I will, will tell you what to do next. So boys and girls, there it is. I'm going to add another layer of the red just to give um, depth. Uh, so we're just going to um, add a layer again, same red, and then we're going to make it a little darker like that. And then we can do the other side like that. And then, boys and girls, um, what I want to do is um, add some orange, you know, um, for the lighter areas. And um, I'd like to add a little bit of white if I can. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm going to try. See if I can add a little bit of white to show a reflection. You know what? The white doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to get one of my rags and I'm going to just blot it to try to lift up some color like that. And then, uh, boys and girls, I'm going to let it dry and I'll get back to you. So boys and girls, I'm going to add now the arrow. So I'm going to get some black, some black paint and just um, try, just get some black and I'm just going to draw a line going like this 
to show it in Pierce and uh, draw this arrow that's just penetrating uh, in the heart of G like that and uh, we're going to draw this arrow and the, the long stick so it's actually what it is a long stick like a dowel and at the end of it you add a you add a oh dear look at where it's bled so um you add a a, a, a blade so i'm just going to go and mop this up like that so that it doesn't sh uh, make spoil the picture too much and I'm going to let it dry and I'm going to add a red layer to this uh, painting. So boys and girls I'm just going to go ahead and um, wet the area where it was it made a dark sort of light patch. I'm going to get a nice clean part of my little rag and I'm going to just and then what I'm going to do when I finish blotting it, I'm going to do here as well. A, a nice way that you can avoid all this trouble, boys and girls, is simply by not painting that area. But because we're doing it without a drawing, because we're such pros right now at painting hearts, so I just decided that, you know, let's just try it this way and see how well you go. I really would love to see your work, boys and girls. I can't wait to see how well you manage. And uh, yeah, you just blot it up again. So you just mop it up and then it will make the area a little lighter. All right, so I'm gonna let it dry and I'll get back to you. So boys and girls, it's lovely and dry. So I'm just going to fix the areas that uh, um that were tampered with and and i didn't do too well so just go and get some red paint and just go around it like that simple as like that don't try not to go on the black because the black will black will drag onto your red color boys and girls so get some more red and then we're just going to go over that again. All right, and just try not to get it on the black. Okay, and we're going to get some, oops, wash my paintbrush, get some different shades of red just to enhance, you know, enhance the heart like that okay and um, what I want to do I'm gonna let it dry and I'll get back to you again so boys and girls let's uh, paint the arrow the blade of the arrow in a lovely bright yellow color um, taking very care being very careful that you don't go over your black lines and we're just going to give that several layers and let it dry so boys and girls um we're gonna have uh we're gonna paint the dowel in a nice light brown shade boys and girls like that and then we're going to enhance the line where the arrow has pierced the sacred heart of Jesus so you're just going to draw the line a bit better like that and then boys and girls the last thing we're going to do we're going to do um, paint in um, droplets red droplets of blood and uh, the drip it's dropping from where it's been pierced so we're going to have a drop here and um, another one here like that so we're going to paint droplets of blood coming out of we're going to i'm going to go ahead and add some purple just to add um depth so that you can really see this uh, the blood 
pouring out of the um, the wound. Good, and I also want to add that purple while we're at it here, you know, just a little bit, just to enhance the top of that. And I want to add a red, if I can, a nice bit of red on top of that purple so that it doesn't look like it's purple, you know, too much. Like that. That should be fine. And we're going to add some more of that reddish purple colour right there. And then I'd like to add it to the blood like that. Just to authenticate it a little bit more. And I think that will do. I'm going to uh, put it to dry. I'm going to let it dry and then afterwards I'm going to add the crown of thorns around the sacred heart of Jesus. So boys and girls, I'm going to add the crown of thorns by using a black paint from my black paint here. Um, just, uh, just do some crisscross. So crosses around the heart, sacred heart of Jesus, make it, make it look like crosses boys and girls. And that, that's how we do the crown of thorns, just making crosses. And then adding our own lines to it to make it uh, look like really like thorns rather than just crisscross. So we just go on top of it again. All right? So that should do it. Okay. And then, last but by no means least, we're going to add the flame. So we're going to use a very light orange, as if by adding water, and we're going to add a flame coming out from the heart of Jesus like that, and um, add another layer of this um, flame. And then um, we can actually add a d deeper, deeper orange coming out like this. And you'll see how the colors just mingle with each other. I'll put it to dry and then we're going to add the cross that goes on top of the flame. Right there, boys and girls, we're going to add a, a, cr a cross at the top to signify Jesus. Um, sacrifice on the cross so we're just going to do a simple cross going going down and across like that simple cross no um, no addition to it it's just a simple cross on the top I'm going to let it dry and then afterwards I'm going to do the background and then that should be it Boys and girls, here it is, nice and dry, and we're going to add the green. I'm going to get a very light green to give the background, just to enhance the background. Uh, the complementary uh, colour of red is green, isn't it, boys and girls? And so I think that the best colour right now to enhance this heart of the sacred heart of Jesus is a lovely light green um, green is a natural color it's nature so um, yeah it's it's a beautiful color to enhance the sacred heart of Jesus and boys and girls I can't wait to see your work uh, when we meet again uh, please share with me and um, well done to all those little children Amber um, Anthony um, uh, oh dear, where are the rest of them? The names are not coming forth at the moment, but these children, Tyrus and, and um, these children, they, they're always, you can see they have a love for art and I'm really proud of you guys. 
so yeah I'm just gonna end this video here with this um, I'm gonna let it dry and then I will give you I will um, we'll just have a look at it close-up look and end the video there it is boys and girls most sacred heart of Jesus have mercy on us most sacred heart of Jesus have mercy on us most sacred heart of Jesus have mercy on us there it is boys and girls I added some highlights and to the arrow and the thorns the crown of thorns and to the heart and boys and girls I can't wait to see your work uh, Psalm 37 verse 3 your arrows have sunk deep in me. God bless boys and girls. Bye bye and I'll see you in the next video.